What's up guys, Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today we are starting the second video in the series Crazy Tarantula Facts where we talk about fun tarantula information and facts about topics that aren't really that discussed too often and um, today we're talking about spider strength and how strong tarantulas are because I don't see a lot of information about this and it's something that I have wondered myself and I think that people are really curious about this regardless of whether they're tarantula lovers or they're actually arachnophobic um, because just knowing about these facts can be either really interesting or really scary depending on where you are on that spectrum. Um, so I think that it's something that's natural to wonder about and so I wanted to kind of dive into that subject today. Um, because it's very interesting. I know that um, some tiny invertebrates like ants have been known to, um, you know, like in a, I read that in a 2014 study, um, there was actually tests done to see how strong ants were and they were noted to like be able to carry things that were 5,000 times their own weight. That is just insane. So I was wondering if there was any more information about that um, as far as tarantulas because I myself since I got Spidey um, I didn't really think about how strong she was in the beginning but after getting to know her and watching her behaviors for a while I've seen her do some really crazy stuff I mean just holding Spidey she's a rose hair and she's not too big she's full grown but she can fit in my hand and you know she feels so light and fragile and like she's just kind of made of air <laughs> but she's really strong like I've seen her do a number of things when I first got her I had these um, fake plant decorations that I had buried into her substrate and I've seen her completely pull them out. That is actually why Spidey does not have um, plant decorations in her tank anymore is because she just doesn't like them. She tends to like pull them out or trample them completely. So um, no plant decorations for Spidey anymore. But besides that, you know, I've seen her um, turn her lids over, like there's a jar lid in her tank, I've seen her turn that over. Um, I've also seen her like kind of like drag this little pink bunny across the tank that she has in there. Um, when I just got her, within the first few months I think I had put kind of a, um, a pink scarf in her tank for her. And by the way, that's a really bad idea, don't ever do that. That was just a beginner mistake I made. You don't want to put any cloth in your tarantula's tank because they're little um, foot claws can get stuck in there, so don't do that. But um, I noticed her one day dragging this scarf up the tank, and this scarf is a lot bigger and heavier than her. So, you know, I think that spiders are really strong just from what I've what I've seen. Just going off of what I've heard from other tarantula owners, um, they've seen them turning or moving their water dishes and sometimes depending on what kind of dish you have, that can be kind of heavy. Um, I've also heard many reports about tarantulas either um, kind of biting through or tearing their um, mesh wires and or they're even like opening the lids to their tanks even when there's something on them so I think that this is something that definitely needs a lot more research and unfortunately I couldn't find any scientific reports or information about this or even any experiments which is really unfortunate because um, tarantulas are extremely misunderstood. The way that they work is just so different from us. Um, any information that we have on them is just so extremely limited. So it's kind of frustrating that there's not a lot of research being done on them about how they work. But I came across this video that was uploaded by YouTuber Scott Bridger that shows his tarantula actually moving one of those sliding glass doors. And his tarantula is not big. Um, and it's it's just really crazy to watch. I'm definitely going to link that down below and I also have the video in the accompanying blog post to this video which is also in the description. Um, it is just insane how this tarantula moves this glass door like it's nothing and um, Scott was really really shocked. You can hear him say that in the video that he was not expecting his tarantula to do that at all and I wasn't even as a viewer and I knew it was going to happen. Um, so he said that he measured the force that it would take to move move that and it was two pounds of force. Now when you make that comparison to a tarantula's size, weight, and body, that is just absolutely insane. And um, I think that more needs to be done to look into this. I'm not sure how we could measure this, but I mean, I feel like this just needs to be known and we need to find out. Um, it's just really insane. And I know that in the wild or even sometimes in captivity, there have been reports of tarantulas um, taking down animals that are much bigger and heavier than themselves. I know that um, 
I don't recommend this in any way, but there are videos on YouTube that show um, tarantulas taking down mice. Um, and by the way, those are really irresponsible videos, but they are on YouTube if you want to watch them. I don't recommend or condone, but this can kind of show you just how um, strong tarantulas really are. And despite how, I guess, I guess airy their bodies are because their their bodies are so completely different than ours as far as their setup and they really don't have the muscles that we do or anything like that so um, it's just unbelievable and just really cool so I'm sure that after you watch Scott's video if you did or after you've seen Spidey's pics of what she does in her tank you will want to think about the security of your tarantulas enclosure a little bit more um, definitely if you have some lids that aren't locked down you want to make sure that you put some books on them or something just make sure you leave the holes open so that there's some airflow and ventilation um, but yeah, like tarantulas are really freakishly strong compared to how their body weight is and their size. So um, I thought this was a very interesting topic. I hope that you did. And if you are interested in more tarantula tips or crazy tarantula facts, because this is a series that I'm going to continue, um, you can definitely sign up for my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter, which I will leave the link to below. If you want to learn more crazy tarantula facts in general or more information about tarantula care, I have a tarantula guide out, which I will also link to, and a bunch of other goodies that you can take advantage of in the description. And thank you so much for watching, and if you have any other ideas for facts that you want to know about tarantulas, please leave a comment because I will definitely um, be doing more videos like this and be doing more research about tarantula stuff. And um, also, if you have any crazy stories about things that your tarantula has moved or um, what they've done that shows how strong they are, please let me know because I can definitely expand on this topic in another post or something like that in the future. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. Happy Tarantula Tuesday, and I will talk to you later.